Okay, so we got our PIs in, so let's define our curve set. Go to Geometry, Horizontal Curve Set, Define Curve. Let me move this over a little bit so we can see. And let me click Next, Next, and you see our two tangents are highlighted. And assuming we did some preliminary design on our horizontal geometry, we'll put in a radius of, let's say, 500 for this curve. Click Apply, and you see the curve is drawn. Now we'll click the Next button, go to our next curve, and let's say a radius of eh, 450. Click Apply, click Next. Uh, let's say a radius of 600. Click Apply, and you see our next button is grayed out because that's our last curve that we can define. So let's click Close, and now what we'll do is we'll come over and delete this little straggler right here. And now let's just go ahead and annotate our alignment. So let's go to Geometry, View Geometry, Stationing, make sure you select your correct alignment, your station limits. We'll uncheck that because we just want to station our entire alignment. If you have preferences, load those. Load, close, we'll click Apply, and then Close. And you see our alignment has been stationed. Now let's go ahead and annotate it. Geometry, View Geometry, Horizontal Annotation, and pick your alignment. It's already highlighted here. If it wasn't, you could just click in here and click an asterisk, and it'll make that active. And again, if you have preferences, you could load those. We'll close that. And we want to annotate our elements, points on alignment, elements there, points. Yeah, that looks good. We'll just click Apply, Close, and you see our curves have been annotated. Yeah, we got a little overlap in our text, but we could always adjust that. And when you're done with that, just come over here, click File, Save, Geometry Project, and that's it.